So this time of year, woolly apple leaf, it is generally found on root suckers. It's also uh, generally found overwintering on the roots themselves. And one of the examples that we have to show you today is a number of galls that have formed from the woolly apple leaf feeding at the base of some M26 trees. Here we are in the orchard. Lisa and I are looking at some aerial galls that have formed on the bottom of this apple tree. The woolly apple leaf and mummies are actually present as well. They've likely been parasitized by one of the parasitic wasps that are present in this area, the Aphelinus molly. And we can see the damage here. There's likely, if we were to excavate in this area, also some root damage present. And the adult woolly apple leaf, it's going to work their way from the roots or from the galls here at the base of the tree up into the canopy and start their colonies in the branches, which uh, around the pink timing, we're going to be ready for our first spray for woolly apple leaf. And Molly, I think it's important to show the um, galls at the bottom. So when growers are looking for themselves, that's a good sign totally. to look for, it, right? That's right. Once we've identified that we have woolly apple leaf, it's in the orchard, and we have found aerial populations and maybe roots on the root galls or that they have nodules, and you know you've had woolly apple leaf issues the following year, this is a great time to put sticky tape on the trunk, which allows us to monitor as the crawlers of the woolly apple leaf come up the trunk, you can monitor for timing and spring timing, sometimes with the dormant one. At this time in the orchard blocks, we're at um, half inch green. This is a great time for dormant oil sprays to start going on. They generally go on from half inch green um, up to open tight cluster. Through some research we've done in the Okanagan Valley, we're also finding that applying a product such as Closer to control woolly apple aphids or San Jose scale, um, this is a great time to get those first initial nymphs or crawlers of those two um, hard to control species. With woolly Appalachian specifically, we are timing um, with the dormant oil spray and then we're going in again at petal fall. So, so back to back sprays really of closer and it's doing a significant job of cleaning up populations of woolly apple aphids in our orchard blocks. If we have very high populations of either um, San Jose scale or woolly apple aphids in the orchards, and we're doing an early cleanup with the dormant oil that we just spoke about, if we've either missed that or our populations are so high that we need to go in again, we can go in in that June timing. Sometimes we need back-to-back -back sprays. Um, with closer or another rotational product if you've used closer in the pink, um, pre-pink or petal fall timing. And both these timings do a great job of cleaning up both these hard to get at species. Please join us again for future videos in this series.